Hello, my name is Mike Foster. I'm one of the co-founders of the Bookkeepers Alliance, the membership organisation for bookkeepers established to support your continual professional development and also to support you in starting, developing and growing your own practice. Now in this short video I wanted to give you an overview of why we have such a focus and a passion on helping you to identify your ideal client or your ideal clients. Now that's the first point. The first point Contrary to what you may also read and hear, you can have more than one ideal client. You may have two or three ideal clients for your focus. Contrary to what you may read, that's acceptable. And I see many bookkeepers struggling to find that one ideal client profile when there's probably two or three things that really engage their interest or their desire to, in effect, want to get up in the morning and go to work. How do we profile our ideal clients? Well, we may profile them on our, the type of people that we want to work with. It might be the size of the business or the location of the business or the demographics, if you like, of that business. Or it could be in a particular sector that we've got some experience or an interest in. And I do find that this sector focus is much more powerful in terms of creating a niche and bringing in those other areas I've just mentioned to help you build that overall profile of focus that you want as an ideal client to draw towards you. So as I say, this video is to give you an overview of why we focus on an ideal client or ideal clients. And there's three key areas that I'm going to cover. The marketing, systemization, and pricing. And at the Alliance, we don't just focus on ideal clients for one purpose. We focus on it being a foundation of your business because it's all interrelated in some way. So first of all, the marketing. Well, if we are targeted by knowing the type of ideal client that we want to attract to our business, then we can maximise the resources we have for our marketing. We all have limited time and money in terms of um, resources for our marketing, so how can we in effect take the rifle out and pick out our ideal clients rather than firing a shotgun and hoping it hits somebody? And by having this ideal client focus, we can then start to understand where they hang out, if you like. Do they hang out online or do they hang out at face-to-face -face events offline? Therefore, you can effectively use the right tactics to, in effect, make an engagement or make contact with those ideal clients. But also, once we understand the ideal client profile and understand what their pain and problem is, we can understand how our proposition can match that pain and problem to therefore then give them that solution. And therefore, that dictates the right copy or the words that we would use to, in effect, pull that ideal client towards us so that they lean towards us with interest. The second area is systemization because as we grow our business systemization is going to be much more a requirement that we have to make sure that we're efficient and effective and once we know our ideal client and how they work then we can start to design a system that delivers the output that they're expecting. Now that output may be a self-assessment return, it may be a VAT return, end of year accounts, a submission of a clean set of records to their accountant. By understanding the ideal client and how they work, we can understand their likely output requirement. But also by understanding how they work, to get to that output, we can then just start to design a system. A system about how we're going to be able to operate most efficiently and effectively to deliver that job, because it's then all about our profitability. And once we understand that system and how we're perhaps best going to work, we can then start to educate our customers in terms of what we require for the inputs of that system. So do we require, for example, all the invoices? Do we require all the bank statements or is it going to be done by a bank feed? Are we going to ask them to photocopy their receipts or are they going to give us physically going to give us the receipts? And we can start to understand what inputs do we need before we start the work to then put into our system and deliver the output as efficiently and effectively and profitably as possible. So then the third area is pricing. Now, I truly believe that if we know our ideal client and we've established our systems for working with that ideal client, then in effect we can price with confidence. For me, we're numbers people. We don't need a piece of software to tell us what we should be pricing our customers. So once we know how they work, the system that will deliver what they require and expect from us, we can start to put some packages together that can again meet the requirements that they're looking for from us as a bookkeeper. We also know by working with these ideal clients and understanding really what makes them tick, how they perceive and, and 
create value in their own mind. And therefore, when we're thinking about these value-added services that we may like to offer within our menu pricing options, therefore, we can then understand how we can then price a value effectively, rather than effect it becoming a little bit of a guesswork. So, also, by working with our ideal clients, we understand the type of work we're going to be doing for them, because again, we've built that into our system, but also the likely volumes that we're going to be doing, and therefore how long it's likely to take us. So in terms of thinking about the comfort way of pricing around hourly pricing, we can start to think, well, actually, if it's going to take me that long, it's likely in old money that I'd have charged this amount. Let's think about this from a value perspective, and I'm now more likely to charge this for that menu of options. So you can see what I'm saying in terms of your ideal client profile can specifically help you also with your pricing and like I say, enable you to price with confidence in the way that you'd like to price. So hopefully this short video is giving you a flavour of why we have a strong focus for the ideal client or clients, why we have a passion for supporting you to do that, but also giving you a flavour in terms of how you can focus on your ideal client to help you with your marketing your systemization and your pricing.